Hey everyone, this is Michael from Wahoo Comics. I'm here to show you a few neat things I picked up on a recent comic hunt and haul. Uh, so last weekend I went to visit my parents in Southern Virginia. And while I was there, I decided one morning to go to the local flea market. And while I was there, I found one vendor who had a couple of short boxes of comics, not, not a ton, uh, but uh, he had a few things that I was excited to pick up. And uh, most importantly, I was excited about this. Alpha Flight number 33 and this contains the first appearance of Lady Deathstrike uh, and something that I really enjoy doing as a collector is collecting the first appearances of villains uh, and Lady Deathstrike's one of my favorites uh, I just find all their stories interesting and so I've been on that lookout for this issue for quite a while I um, was hoping to pick it up on eBay for about 10 bucks when you know, shipping was included and so there are a couple of times where I found issues that were close to that but then unfortunately about a month ago uh, this issue really started to pick up some steam and on eBay you can only find it for fifteen twenty dollars and so I went to another website comiccollectorlive.com uh, which has uh, different sellers there and I found two sellers who had this one who was letting it go for eight fifty and another for nine uh, and so I ordered the one from the guy who's selling it from 850, of course, only to find out later that he didn't have his stock correct and he didn't have the issue. Um, so that uh, order got canceled and then I went to buy from the other vendor and unfortunately he had already sold it by then. And so I was really bummed out uh, thinking, man, it's going to take, if I really do want this, it's going to take 15 or 20 now instead of the 10. Uh, but at this guy at the flea market, this guy, all these comics that he was selling were for three dollars each, and so I was super excited to get this. Uh, first of all, of course, I just wanted the issue, but then to get it for much less than I had originally planned, and even more or less than that uh, after the the price spike that started to happen. So really excited to get that. I also got Alpha Flight number fifty one and this contains the first artwork by Jim Lee at Marvel uh, and then although I usually collect just Marvel stuff if I see some DC stuff I especially like I'll pick that up and he in one of his boxes was it was DC stuff and there were some issues that I was excited about here first of all this is DC Comics Presents number 51 and this contains the second appearance of He-Man uh, and right now 80's nostalgia is really popular uh, G.I. Joe, Thundercats, He-Man, all these things are, I think, good investments. And so I was really excited to get uh, his second appearance uh, for just three bucks. And you, know, you can probably get about, you know, sell it for about twice that much now. But I, I think as uh, He-Man comes back into the public conscious with all the 80s nostalgia, that this issue will jump up in price, uh, you know, quite a bit in the months or years to come. Also got DC Comics Presents number 49. And this contains this you know, really cool cover and story uh, with Black Adam fighting Superman and Shazam. And I think uh, anything with Black Adam is a pretty good thing to in invest in right now with hopefully the movie one day coming out. Of course, it's been in the works for a while with The Rock as Black Adam, but um, it seems like that might come to be sooner rather than later. And so I was really glad to get this. This is going for much more on eBay. And so for three bucks, really happy to get that. And finally, from uh, this guy, I got DC Comics uh, Presents number 40, and this contains the death of the original Airwave. It's not uh, as you know uh, high value as it once was, but it still is a, a cool story and uh, something I, I was excited to, to pick up. Uh, and uh, and so that's all I got from that guy that day. Uh, but he told me that he had 15,000 more comics back home. And of course he didn't have them there, but said next time I'm in town, he gave me his email to look him up and I'll see what else he has for sale. And if he's letting things go like, like some of these issues, uh, I'm, I'm really excited to see what he has. And sometimes on these hunts, you know, the m most important thing isn't necessarily even what you got on the hunt itself, uh, but some of the connections you make that then you can go back and get more issues from or that they can refer you to. And that's really something I'm, really trying to do a, a, a real good job at now and I've 
normally not been good at is, is networking and building a network. And so if you're watching this and you're interested in, in, in networking and working together, uh, that's something I'm trying to do more of. Uh, and you can you know, shoot me a message and let me know. Uh, but I'm looking forward to, to you know, uh, connecting with that guy again. And then, in fact, he pointed me to another uh, flea market uh, that I could go and visit and that I, that I did and found a few uh, neat things there as well. And this was about 20, 25 minutes away from the one in my parents' hometown. And uh, first of all, the issue that I was most excited to get there that I have been looking for for a while is Uncanny X-Men number 184. And this contains the first appearance of Forge. Uh, again, X-Men are <laughs> really heating up. And so anytime you can get any kind of first appearance with any character from their universe, uh, it's a good idea to do so, I think, right now. Uh, and uh, you know, if, if Forge ever comes to the MCU, this, you know, this issue is going to uh, you know, blow up, I think. Also got Uncanny X-Men number 191. Uh, this contains the first appearance of Nimrod, another villain in the X-Men universe. So I was excited to get another villain first appearance. And I've been loosely on the lookout for this, uh, but I was really excited. I was only get this for only two bucks. Uh, then also I got Amazing Spider-Man number 256. And this is something I didn't have. As I've mentioned before, I'm trying to complete a run of Amazing Spider-Man. I've still got a long way to go, but anytime I can get a new issue, I'm excited. And this contains the first appearance of Puma, uh, who started out as a villain uh, in, in, in Spider-Man's world, but then uh, they became allies. Um, and so I was, little, I was really excited for this one. Then I also got New Mutants number 32, which is the first appearance of Madripoor which is a fictional city in the Marvel Universe, similar to how Wakanda would be. And if you're watching any of the Disney Plus shows, you might know that this city was recently introduced into the MCU uh, in the Falcon and Winter Soldier show. And so this book's been picking up some steam, and I was excited to get this also, again, for only uh, two bucks. And the final issue I got that weekend was the New Mutants Annual number one, and this is the first appearance of Leela Cheney. Again, anytime I can find a first appearance uh, of anybody in the X Men universe right now for you know pretty cheap, I'm going to jump all over that. And uh, so I was really excited to pick this one up as well. But most excited about the Forge uh, first appearance since I'd been looking for that for a while from that guy. Um, so I had a really nice time, made some good connections, and hopefully we'll end up picking up some more cool things uh, in, uh, in, a, in a couple months when I go back and visit my parents again. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. If you've found anything cool lately on a hunt, let me know in the comments. And of course, if you haven't already, really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel uh, and tell me what you think. All right, talk to you guys later.